I are here to talk to you about a special project that's going to be happening in art during your homeroom class and it is going to happen with pre-k students all the way up to the fourth grade students it's called square one art and the parent association actually uses your pieces of art and they send it to a store where your parents have the opportunity to buy things like a mug or a magnet or a keychain or a water bottle maybe even a apron or a satchel something with your artwork on it the way it starts um, we'll be using a very special piece of paper. You'll each get one. You'll have to fill in some information and it says some guidelines. Ooh, one thing we want to think about is making our picture big and basic, real simple. We also want to make it bold and colorful. So when we color, you want to press the, the crayon down so the color becomes bold and you want to sign your name because it's always good for the artist to have their name on their work. And then this piece of paper right here, the blank square, that's where you'll do your work. Everybody gets one piece. Again, to make it basic, we're going to use our pastels or crayons or markers. Those are your three items, markers, pastels, and crayons. And I'm going to be showing you different ideas. Everybody's going to have the theme of flowers and hearts because when the artworks are all produced and come back, it'll be around Mother's Day and flowers are a perfect theme for that. So we're going to start with the pre-K because they are going to be the most basic and I'll give you an example of their work and then I'll move forward all the way through first grade and Miss Yanconi is going to show projects from second to fourth as well. And these are ideas and I think as we move forward the ideas from the younger students will give our older students some things to think about too. So if you're one of the younger classes and we pass your uh, example you can stop and just start doing your work. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I want to show you some of the just basic starting spots. This is a pre-K and they will be starting by writing their name first and then drawing circles that are colors, their favorite colors. They can be all one color or a combination. And teachers hopefully will help put the name in the block and the school and the grade and the teacher name. A kindergartner I'm going to ask them to draw a shape that will represent a vase. I've drawn a rectangle, but you can draw any shape. And then I'm going to ask them to draw a line across. So it looks like their vase is sitting on something, and they have space to color a background and flowers. Pre-first, this is something we've always done. We've done what's called a radial design. And we start with a, little, a circle in the middle. And then we do shapes around the circle. I can't do this backwards. There we go, around the circle. And in our first grade, I, I finished some of these. They'll be making a frame as well as some other ideas. All right, let's go. Briefly, just another tip from square one, put your subject in the center best you can, and you can make a frame if you would like. Also, colored pencils are too light for this kind of artwork, and neon and metallic markers are also not good. Homeroom teachers, look at this list and decide at your discretion if you'd like to add any other materials. Now let's first take your special paper, fill in your information with your teacher's guidance. Now sample one, pre-K ideas. Okay, so I've already thought about some colors I'd like to use. I've started. I wrote my name, pre-first, write your name, draw circles, I'll do one more, just to show you if you're using a crayon, circle it, and press. If you're using a pastel, the same thing, press, fill it in. And now it's time to think about the petals. So I'll just use shapes, I'm going to do triangles to start. I try not to touch watercolor to pastel because it makes the watercolor lumpy and damaged. Here, maybe I'll do a shape like this. If our watercolor touches pastel and gets a little bit lumpy, we'll learn. Oh, I'll use a heart this time. Try not to touch the edge if you can help it. If you can help it, that'll keep your picture centered for the production. 
All right, there we go. And you can leave some of them just be circles. You don't have to make them all into flowers. You can leave some as circles. I love circle petals. I don't know why. And teachers, feel free to um, leave the background white. Oh, I'm going to do this one here. I like petals that kind of just are lines. Those are fun petals, too. There we go. That's my picture. Now let's look at a kindergarten idea. So kindergarten, I said I want you to draw a shape that's the vase. I'm going to start in the center so I have room for flowers. I'm just going to draw like it's going to be free form. And then I'm going to draw that line to represent a table. So I'm using a pencil first. I should have drawn lightly, but I was confident that I knew my shape. so. I was okay. I'm going to outline it now. I'll take a marker and go over my pencil. And then I'm going to think about my flowers. I'm going to do a couple with pencil. And I'll make petals that are different. This I'm going to do hearts. Because hearts are fun. And hearts are a sign of love. There we go. And then one more I'll do a really big one. Like a sunflower. That's a teardrop shape. Now where could I put my name on this? I think I could put my name down here at the bottom. I could put my name over here. Put your name somewhere. So once you do that, then just think about colors um, you want to use for your flowers. I'm going to color in a different purple, a pastel purple for my vase. If you want to give your vase a design, I'm going to do one design. I know blue will show up, so I'll make a zigzag decoration. All right, so as you can see, I'm creating a flower vase for our picture. And then I'm going to try to go ahead and show you how to do a background too. Think about a color for your background that's uh, a color that is light so that the other things show up. Oh, I want to go blue. No, they got too much blue. I guess I'll do a pink, pink tablecloth. I'm pressing, I'm coloring. Oh, and it, teachers, feel free to. A watercolor background is also nice, but I don't want to. I don't want to give you too much, to um, materials-wise. Boys and girls, press so that you're filling in this white space. And before you know it, you'll have your picture, and it'll be beautiful. And we made it basic and simple and bold. We did a vase, flowers, and our name, and we put it on a table. There you go. Now let's try a pre-first idea. All right, so for this one, pre-first, that radial design, that big single flower with the patterns, what it is is a circle in the middle and then patterns. It's a circular pattern. Pick a shape and go around. I did a half circle to start. You can pick any shape you want. Then go around with a new shape. I'm doing points every circular direction. I'm going north, south, east, west. Now I'm going to do another big shape. And I do like hearts, so maybe I'll put a heart here. All right, so there you go. Write your name somewhere in marker two. And then what you're going to want to do is color in whatever your favorite colors are. If you use crayon, remember to press. Try to keep all your half circles the same color. Everybody's radial design is going to be a different design, just like a different snowflake. And while I have my orange out, I'm going to even make these hearts all orange, sort of give it a uniform color. Or yours can be totally different, rainbowy. And then in years past again, and we have put leaves in the corners to give it sort of a frame look. And they can go off the edge because that's fine. Your leaves can go wherever you want. And we also have used watercolor to do the background. Again, that's the teacher's decision. So once you've finished your radial design, coloring it, adding leaves, you can just leave it like that or color in the background too. All right, first grade, let's build on all those ideas and make something creative using flowers and hearts. First grade, you'll be making a border or frame, so you'll need a ruler and you'll make four lines on all of the edges. And you'll eventually color your frame with patterns and color. I've started a basic flower drawing using pencil, a variety of shapes filled the area of that center space, then marker to outline all those lines. You can use an eraser 
to get rid of any pencil marks you don't like, and then fill all the different spaces with color using crayons, markers, whatever. A heart design, you could draw a heart and then draw lines behind the heart and fill in the spaces with color, and that would make a nice heart design. Be sure to write your name somewhere. Another idea, draw a big flower and make scenery. Here is a flower in a garden with a tree and a ladybug. My picture ended up very close to the edge, so a frame would have solved that problem and helped me center my idea. This heart design in a frame was done with pencil, then outlined in marker, erased again the pencil marks, and then finally colored how I decided. So I've already gone over all my lines. I drew a flower with pencil, and then I did a line for the ground and I drew a turtle. It was nice and big and basic, but I had space, so I decided to put a, a sun there. I wrote my name, and now I'm taking some extra time to erase any of the pencil marks that I didn't actually use. I am going to start coloring. Uh, I like that turtle. I'm gonna start with some of them light green, and maybe some of them yellow or something else. And I'll give the shell pink, and I think I'll even make the legs pink. Next to that lovely flower, press purple in there, try to color that big circle, and then I'll do some blue. And I'm anticipating in while I'm drawing my blue that I will be making the sky like the sun color. I'll probably make the sky yellow because since I used a blue flower, I don't want to make a blue sky behind it. I'm also going to think about my border, my frame. So let's just see how the border is going to go. I'm going to say, again, teachers, we used to do patterns in the border that had something to do. So I'm just going to make a pattern of dots all around. And then we used to add watercolor. Teachers, if you're comfortable just washing a watercolor over top of that pastel pattern, go for it. If you're not comfortable, I think it looks good just without a watercolor. I think it can just stay as a pattern. So I've made a pattern and I've put a picture in the middle. I've signed it and that's a first grade project. Have fun and create your own unique piece.